Hey pretty girl club, in today's video I wanted to talk about how to not feel jealousy towards other women from my perspective and my opinion. This is just me going off of the dome, off the fly. So I grew up in insecure for a couple of years of my life. Um, up until this past year, I was very insecure. I had body dysmorphia. I had a this coping mechanism where I always stayed in relationships. I haven't been single since the eighth grade and that's what middle school. I haven't been single single since the eighth grade. I feel like that was a coping mechanism for me because I didn't feel attractive even though I received pretty privilege. There was something within myself that I just didn't feel the same way. I I didn't feel the same way inside. Um, I don't know why I felt like that. And that's the thing, you can be pretty and insecure and there's a lot going on with that person, like mentally. I had body dysmorphia, so that's a whole mental disorder right there. And I could go on, I have plenty of videos about body dysmorphia. I'll put some notes, what do you call them, at the top. So yeah, I can look at those videos and listen to some background of my story. Because so there's like insecure people that I know like to take out their insecurities on the person who's triggering them. And I didn't do that. If I ever saw a girl who was pretty, I always admired her. I always wanted to be her friend. Like, I, I have distinct people in my head right now. Like, I was in admiration. I was like, oh, they're so pretty. And I wanted to be their friend more than I didn't want to sabotage them. Like, I don't understand people who want to sabotage the pretty girl or feel like they need a humble. I always was like, I want to be her friend. It was on some cool stuff. I used to, my, I remember having a really pretty babysitter and I used to keep a picture of her in my pocket when I was like, what, fifth grade or something. And I was like, I used to show my friends like, look at my babysitter, she's prettier than yours. I would be on that type of time. It was never on some bitter, angry, like even my own mom was like that with me. She's, she's an envious of me or something a nasty attitude towards me and trigger her so easily. I don't even have a relationship because of it. It's ridiculous. I don't understand the mindset. Because even somebody, coming from somebody who's insecure herself and don't understand it, how can you actually be mad at the person? What I know, what I knew, even at a young age, I knew that the feelings that I had about myself being insecure, it was from something going on within the side of me. And I felt, I, you know, I didn't understand what was, what it was up until Exoticals United came on the scene and she started to talk about things that registered and it's like putting pieces together. It's like, that's what that was? That's why? I was like, what? It was a bunch of isms and stuff and gaslighting, but all these words that was just making sense. I was gaslit growing up. So all of this stuff started to make sense, like why I felt more ugly than I really was. Cause I was gaslit by my mom. My mom didn't compliment me growing up. So I just never felt pretty in my own self. I had to, I literally relied on other people's compliments. I fed off of it. Like I fed off of other people's compliments. If I didn't get a compliment, I got felt like I wasn't attractive today. Up until this last year, I'm in my early thirties, y'all early 30s and it took up until last year like my confidence I've never been this confident before in my whole life and it feels so good it really does I get I at a point now where I compliment other females like I do it's something that you have to heal within yourself like you have to do the shadow work you have to figure out why this pretty girl is triggering you and why is it making you react negative negatively though like is it over a man? Ask yourself what's wrong. Did she take your man? Or what is the reason why you're jealous of another female's beauty? What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? What was the reason? What, was the reason? Was the reason? what does that have to do with you as an individual? So, I could never understand it. Like, I never had that experience of being bitter. I don't get people like that. I don't like being around people like that because they drag me down. So one way I know for sure that you can 
you know, just level yourself up. That's one thing I know I did. I remember like middle school transitioning into high school my first time leveling up on some conscious like that's the summer I my I because I was a little thick and so in, in eighth grade I was a little thick so I knew for high school I wanted to be a little bit more skinnier so I, I remember that whole summer that whole summer I would eat yogurt in the morning I would run around the backyard a couple of times I would be on the bike in my house watching what's happening 30 minute episodes y'all know what's happening <laughs> that tv show i would be watching what's happening on that bike for 30 minutes we'll do our 30 minute workout i remember really getting serious about leveling up from high school i was young then so it's like if you to in order to not feel insecure about other women you have to level yourself up take care of your skin once i learned beauty secrets like collagen and hyaluronic acid and NAC and all of these pills, glucathione, I started using them and MSM and it helps your skin. I have a nice glow to my skin. You know what I'm saying? All because I did the research and I took the time to figure out what works best for me. I drink nothing but water. I don't drink no sodas. I eat nothing but organic food. If y'all hear something in the back, those are my dogs. But yeah, I eat nothing but organic foods. I try to stay away from processed foods. Oh, what else? Just level up. If you have a gut, I'm on a gut losing journey. Because there's this rumor at my job where I'm apparently pregnant. So I need to work on my gut. Thanks for letting me know, y'all, so I can work on that. See, that's the thing what I do. I channel. When everybody, when any, when anybody be trying to humble me, even in the comments, somebody be like, "Oh, you misspelled something in your thumbnail." Oh, thank you. I'll go fix it real quick. Thank you. I look at it like, "Thanks for letting me know, so I can fix this, so I can do better." I don't just sit and be miserable, because misery, misery loves company, and oh no, I can't do it anymore. Like level up. That's what you have to do. Get your nails done. There was a period of time where I was so insecure. I stopped caring about those type of things. I didn't get my nails done because I was depressed and everything. I was in the bed a lot, but once I was, I snapped out of it and got the help that I needed. When I felt like I was at the bottom pit, I was like, I gotta do something. I can't be like this forever. I went, I called my doctor. I was like, can I get a special, what is it called? Can I get a, a referral for um, mental health for body dysmorphia? And, you know, I took a year of therapy and it worked. Um, not only did that work, but Exoticals United, watching her content helped me realize a lot of things. Well, a lot of things that I went through was just being gaslit growing up. I was gaslit bad growing up. That's why I didn't even feel pretty in the first place, even though I was, you know. I always kept a boyfriend for a reason. But I feel like me always keeping a boyfriend was like a coping thing. Because I was always in a relationship ever since the 8th grade. I haven't been single, single since the 8th grade. And I'm in my early 30s, so... I used it as a crutch because I didn't think I was good enough. I always felt like, if this guy likes me, what are the odds of somebody else liking me this much? So I'm going to hold on to him for as long as possible. I was a pick me. I'm a, I was a pick me. I was, but it was because I was insecure and I was so unsure that somebody else would love me. I was looking for somebody to love me. But this desiring de men is definitely helping me and my confidence. And you have to build your confidence up because if you're confident and you're leveling yourself up, you're not worrying about the next girl because you've got a light too. You're working on your flaws so you can be a better person. You know what I'm saying? Be kind to people. Have a nice aura about yourself. And don't compare yourself to anybody because you have your own beauty. We're all unique, ma uniquely made. We all like fingerprints. We all have different. We're not the same. You know what I'm saying? We're like fingerprints. We're not the same at all. And that's the good thing. We all have our differences. And that's what makes us pretty, you know? <laughs> that's why guys can't just have one girl. Because all of there's different types of girls. And they're all girls. You know, they're all, they're all good. You know what I'm saying? We're all pretty, you know? 
if we do the work and really take care of ourselves, man, and uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not one of those people that be like, everybody's, nobody's ugly. Like, I'm not, but I'm not saying, I'm saying you have the potential to be attractive to you. If you take care of your simple maintenance, like get your eyebrows done, get your hair done. Um, if you can't afford to do those things on a regular basis, you know, learn how to do it yourself. There's YouTube videos. I had to learn how to do my own hair. I had to learn how to, I made, I learned how to make my own clip-ins off of YouTube. If you don't have the skills for it, you know, do some like door dashes or Instacarts to get you some money saved up so you can take care of yourself. There's these apps called Klarna and Zip where you can pay an installment so you don't have to pay the full price of stuff. So there's all kinds of ways to, you know, get some money. Start a YouTube channel definitely helps confidence. It, oh yes it did having your own platform where people listening to your point of view and are validating your experiences because they can relate and you're helping somebody out there you have a purpose that's a confidence booster right there it's not just about the exterior you know what i'm saying if you level yourself up you do what you love to do if you're a spiritual person you know you're supposed to live at your highest excitement at all times to be in a to be at your highest vibration you, and so anytime i'm always doing something i enjoy if i'm driving in the car i listen to my favorite song my favorite playlist and i work if i'm at work i'm listening to exoticals united or all my other exotical channels out there while i'm working because that excites me I'm at home, I'm editing, that excites me. I'm always doing something that excites me when I'm cooking, I'm listening to my favorite podcast. So yeah, just live your best life. If you're living your best life, you won't be worrying about the next girl. Because you'll be that girl too. The people you're looking at you just the same. Alright? So I hope I was able to help y'all. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video.